You know how sometimes you just feel off? A little sluggish, maybe a bit puffy, and you can't quite put your finger on why. Well, what if I told you there's often a single explanation for a bunch of those seemingly random feelings? It's a system that's been hiding in plain sight this whole time. So let's just dive right in. What on earth could possibly connect puffy eyes in the morning, that frustrating brain fog where you can't think straight, and the health benefits of jumping on a trampoline? I know, it sounds like a riddle, but the answer is genuinely fascinating. The key is a system that just doesn't get the same kind of attention as, say, your heart or your brain, but it is working tirelessly, 24-7, behind the scenes. And believe me, when this system gets stuck, you really, really feel it. We are talking about your lymphatic system. And probably the best way to think about it is like this. It's your body's own internal janitor. It's the cleanup crew that's constantly taking out the trash and running surveillance. I mean, look at this. It's a massive, sprawling network of vessels that runs through your entire body. Its job is to collect all the cellular junk, extra fluid, and check for any invaders, like bacteria or viruses. It's absolutely crucial for keeping you healthy. Okay, but here is the catch. This is the big aha moment. This entire vital system has one major, and I mean major, design flaw. It makes it completely dependent on you. And this slide says it all. Your cardiovascular system, right? It has the heart, a powerful central pump that's always working. The lymphatic system, it has nothing, no pump. It's a completely passive system just trying to fight gravity all day with no engine to help it out. And its workload is huge. We're talking about three to four liters of fluid and metabolic waste that it has to clear out from between your cells every single day. So you can imagine if that system backs up even a little bit, the consequences are pretty immediate. And there you have it. That's the connection. When this system stagnates, when it gets clogged up, you get the exact problems we talked about at the beginning. Inflammation, that annoying brain fog, and swelling. It is a direct cause and effect. So... Let's get to the good news. Let's talk about the solution. And it's actually really simple. Since the system doesn't have a pump, you have to be the pump. Your daily movements are literally what gets this fluid flowing. Now, I know what you might be thinking. This sounds a little counterintuitive, right? How does jumping up and down push fluid up against gravity? This is exactly why something like bouncing on a mini trampoline, which might seem kind of silly, is actually so effective. Well, the answer is just a brilliant piece of biological design. Your lymphatic vessels are filled with these tiny one-way valves. Think of them like little one-way gates. So every time you move or walk or jump, your muscles squeeze these vessels and the fluid gets pushed up through the next gate. It literally cannot flow backward. It's amazing. But you know what? There's an even simpler way to get things moving. And you can do it right now. Just taking a few deep belly breaths you know, the kind where your stomach expands when you inhale, creates a pressure change in your torso. This acts like a little vacuum, sucking lymph from a major collection tank right back into circulation. It's a super powerful zero effort pump you can use anytime, anywhere. Now let's talk about the brain, because this system is also mission critical up there, especially when you're asleep. For a long time, we didn't even think the brain had lymphatics, but it does, it's a specialized version called the glymphatic system, and it's the real reason a good night's sleep feels so restorative. This is just incredible. Look at this. While you're awake, all this metabolic waste from just thinking builds up in your brain. But then, when you go to sleep, the channels in your brain actually expand by a massive 60%. This allows fluid to rush through and literally power wash all of that junk away. That is what clears out brain fog. So, is there anything you can do to make this nightly brainwash more efficient? Well, research points to a few simple things. Sleeping on your side, left or right, doesn't seem to matter, is more effective than your back or stomach. And slightly elevating your head and maybe even your feet with a pillow helps the whole system use gravity to its advantage. Look, all of these little things, taking a walk, some deep breaths, tweaking your sleep position, they aren't just about feeling a bit better tomorrow. They add up, and they have a profound long-term payoff for your health. And get this, this is just wild. We all know that cardio is good for your heart, right? Well, this quote reveals a huge reason why. A big part of the benefit from exercise is that it actually stimulates the growth of new lymphatic vessels around the heart itself, helping it clear out waste more efficiently. You're basically upgrading your heart's own personal cleanup crew. So when you put it all together, the bottom line is pretty clear. By supporting this one single system, you get this amazing ripple effect across your whole body. You're talking less inflammation, 
better brain health and a stronger immune system because your lymph nodes are ground zero for fighting off infections. So it really all comes back to this one idea. Your lymphatic system needs you. You are its pump. So what's one simple thing you'll do today to help it out? Maybe it's just taking a few deep breaths at your desk. Maybe a quick walk around the block. Or maybe you'll just try sleeping on your side tonight. Whatever it is, your inner janitor will definitely thank you for it.